Hello passion fruits and welcome to another vegan cooking video. This recipe is super easy and the cheese tastes exactly the same as star-bought non-vegan cream cheese. I couldn't even believe it when I first tasted it. The only difference with a star-bought non-vegan cream cheese is that this cheese is actually healthy and supports weight loss. It's low in fat and even low in carbs. I'm addicted to cheese, so whenever I make vegan cheeses, I like to make sure they're low in fat so that I can eat it in abundance. I also use this cream cheese to stuff mushrooms and then I put them in the oven for 15 minutes. It's the best vegan oven appetizer ever and people won't even notice that it's vegan. So let's get started. You're going to need a bowl that's deep enough, a strainer and a cheesecloth or if you don't have such fancy kitchen tools like I do, just use a clean kitchen towel. I bought this towel especially to make my cheese and I never use this towel for anything else. Lay the towel in the strainer and before we put our soy yogurt in it, we're going to mix it with our herbs. I usually use a mixture of garlic butter spices, but today I decided to only use salt, dried parsley, thyme and dried chives because I love the taste of garlic but I hate smelling like garlic afterwards. You can use as little or as much spices as you want. When you've mixed them through, you can put the yogurt into the towel. I always use this yogurt from Alpro Soya. I don't know if they have this brand in your country, but if they don't, every soy yogurt will work. Just make sure to buy it plain, so no flavorings and unsweetened. Also try to buy the thickest and creamiest one. Then you're going to close the towel and put your mixture in the fridge. If you're like me, then you're probably gonna have to make room first. Yeah, my fridge is always packed with food because I just love to eat. I confess, okay? I'm a junkie. <laughs> After 15 hours, your yogurt should have become cream cheese, which you can now scrape off of the towel. You can keep this in the fridge for another 3 to 4 days. It becomes even firmer and better as it sits in the fridge. If your cheese isn't done yet, just leave it in the fridge a little longer. It will get better the longer it gets to sit in the fridge. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I will make sure to create another video to show you in how many ways you can use this cheese to create super delicious vegan meals. I'll see you guys later. Bye!